Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming back in with Raising Cane and Reaping and Sewing. Listen, <laughs> this was better than last week. I know last week y'all were sitting there like, you know what, this didn't give what it was supposed to have been given. But <laughs> it's always like that when you are developing a character. character. Things uh. just are slower because we try mm -hmm. to go back from the climax back to... to, to, to the, you, the beginning, yeah. how it all started. Yeah, yeah. We, try, we try to get back into all of that, so <laughs> we gonna figure it out. So yeah, like, like my wife said, yeah, this week was a whole lot better than last week. Um, like she said, you know, character development usually starts off small. Um, we kind of heard on the grapevine a lot of the younger people didn't appreciate it because, I mean, that was... They couldn't relate. You know, I was born in 79, so we lived through the 80s and the 90s, so we can appreciate all, mm -hmm. you know, the 8-ball eight eight ball. jackets, and the, and this week we saw the Timberland boots and, and all the music, and I got the Timberland shirt on this week. <laughs> so, yeah, we get, <laughs> we definitely can relate more better than, you know, the generation now, so, yeah. But this week, we kind of uh, coming off of what happened last week with Kanan and his boys killing Buck 2. Well, Buck 20. Buck 20. They be calling them Buck 2 and Buck 20. So I'm just, yeah, Buck. We know a Buck. <laughs> we know a couple of Bucks. <laughs> so, of course, mamas and boys, she want to protect him. So she is trying to figure out how is it that I can keep him alive, but also show him the game. Because she told him that, hey, you basically, you done shot this guy. You oh, in. Yeah, because yeah, he was like, mom, when I'm going to get started? When I'm going to get started? She's like, you already started. When you pull that trigger, you already started. Mm -hmm. So they came up with a plan. I don't know where this house is or where the location was. But in our mind, we was thinking that this was his training ground. And this was he was going so he could learn the game. And he was going over there with this guy named Scrap. And... I guess he was thinking that Scrap was going to show him the game, uh, which I know I'm a little here in the episode, but I'm just connecting all the pieces of him, try, of Rock trying to protect him. And so he was at the house one day, because well, 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 when Rock first brought him there, it was set up with his old TV in there, and, and Scrap was in there playing games. a video game. He was like, you know, what is this? You know, and he was sitting there like, I don't know what this is either. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Yeah. So I was like, what kind of training is this? Yeah, so... One day he was there, and we saw he went down in, in the basement, and he saw this locked door. And so he was like, what is this crap? You know, he was like, that's none of your, business. None of your business. And so he was like, well, ain't I supposed to be in training? This said, ain't this training day? He said, no, I am babysitting you. I'm babysitting you. He said, you ain't learning nothing here. I was Sorry. like, oh, okay. And at first yeah. I was like, is he lying? Yeah. So or is he just saying that? So Yeah, I thought he was just like, messing with his head so basically a little bit to connect all the dots further in the episode we can see that Kanan confronting him was like ma you basically lied to me you got me on ice <laughs> she was like yeah ice yeah. is good but i like i like what she told him she said that when your daddy was alive defcon we're trying to get all these names right oh my god it's a lot <laughs> defcon did the same thing to me he, she said i was pregnant with you so he didn't want me out in the street pregnant with you and, having to, and, and fighting fiends. And he was like, dang, man. He was like, my daddy was smart. She was like, yeah, because she said to be a good leader, which we all know, you, you have to be a good follower. And he was like, man, my dad was smart. So she was like, he basically was, was testing me to see that if I can take orders. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, I mean, that is, that is so true because a lot of times we want to yeah. start something. We want to be the freaking chief and none of the Nothing. freaking Indians in the beginning. Like, you don't know anything. That is so true. Yeah. So you yeah, made, yeah. I mean, just think back. You, I know he's, you know, a child and everything, but you made a major mistake of jumping in your mom's business to try to take care of some guys that you ain't know what she worked out with them. So that is an excellent way of, of training him into the game. What you think about it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I'm like, now it's different. There's Rock no is your back. yeah. Rock is your mom, but now also she's, she's your, your boss. she's your boss now in the group. So now she got to train you like like uh, Defcon trained her. So this is so familiar to us because it's yeah. almost like the ghost Tasha Tariq thing. Yeah, uh -huh. it's like once you crossed over, there's yeah. no going back. Yep, and it's no longer that I'm your parent. I'm also your boss at this point. Yep. So not only you got to deal with me disciplining you, you got me to be in your way. Right. So when things get yeah. So like, they go nah. back. So that goes back when Tariq killed um 
Damn, what the police officer name? Guy Ray. Ray Ray. When Tariq killed Ray Ray, they Tasha and like you said, Ghost instantly went in to protect him. I think that was when they sent them off to Cho, right? Was it Cho? It's been so long. Ago. Yeah, so long ago. <laughs> but they sent them off in the school. I, if my memory served me correctly, sent them off school to to get him away from the streets. Mm. And which he took the streets to the school with him, which we <laughs> which, uh, said you can take yeah you can take us out the streets, but you can't take the streets out, out of us. We gonna take it wherever we go. <laughs> so this was Kane's first day back to school. Cause last week we saw you know they rolled up on him to get revenge. So this is his first time back to school after was it a week, two days, something like that. Uh, it don't matter. He mm, back. He's he, back. He going back to school. So his mom was like, I need you to keep your eyes open. And so immediately when he went outside to go, I guess to go get on the bus, these dudes came rolling by. I was like, oh no. It's happening. Oh, she just told him this, that they coming back. And he didn't even see he them. He didn't even see them. But but why do ninjas come out the window like this, <laughs> like a drive-by to throw a goddamn phone book? I said, but Lord, if that didn't bring back <laughs> memories, oh my freaking God. <laughs> Woo, that yellow pages, man. Uh -huh. Do y'all still get them? We live in Virginia. We still get yellow still, pages. But they're a little bit, they're a little bit they more, like they're a little now. bit more thinner now. You know, a lot of us don't make the phone book no more. <laughs> but I'm like, we ain't got no house phone. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, why? Why do we still get this? Let us know down in the comments. Do y'all still get the yellow pages and yeah. the white pages? Um, once a year at your house, and you always like. Really? Why? Why'd you send? I I am not about to open this up to look for really? nobody's phone number. No, my listen. I'm going right to my freaking phone and look that skit up. And I have <laughs> to throw them away because if my mom sees it, she's gonna want to keep it. Or if I don't know somebody's number, I know somebody know the number, and I'm gonna text them like, "Hey, you know what's <laughs> such such number?" No. I don't even know. How to look. Is it in last name order? I think it's last name. It's order. been so freaking long. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like. She saw that because she so Rock ran out when she saw that because she just knew her son was gone. I did too. Point blank range too. So she was like, Bet, I'm taking you to school. So she ended up taking him to school. And soon they get in school. It's this freaking big fight. Those high school fights, I'm telling you, man. Uh -huh. that, took, that took me all the way. I still don't understand it. But I understand it. In high school, you didn't care who was fighting. When somebody yeah. said, fight, 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 everybody yeah. ran. You pile around. You don't care if you're going to get hit. You don't care if you can get trampled over. You don't even care if you get shot. Your tail just want to see a fight. That's all you want to see a fight. And those were good fights because nobody got shot. <laughs> and, and Lord, if a teacher got hit. But I never... The, now, no excuse. But back in school, I think teachers kind of set themselves up. Yeah. It's like, you know these two people are hot. And you run in the middle... And you immediately trying to break them up. Of course, they're going to swing on you. They, I mean, they're the height of uh, being pissed. So, obviously, you you somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she hit the I had to go to court yeah, and everything. But yeah. thankfully, the teacher came to court on my behalf. And she was like, she would not have hit me on normal circumstances. I was in the middle. Mm -hmm. it, everything was heightened. I got hit. Right. So the judge just pretty much said, I don't want ever see you in my courtroom again. And if you do, the consequences are going to be way more severe than what they were. I'm not going to tell y'all what my consequences were already. Because <laughs> that's my, like Tabitha Brand said, that's my business. That's your business. But yeah, he didn't see me no more. Just say that. And I did go back to school because they were going to spell me everything. That's right. Yeah, so I, I was able to go back to school. Yeah, he was one of them ruthless kids. I was not. I was not. I was not. Hey, but you hit a teacher, though. I was in a fight. But you hit a teacher. I was in a fight. Yeah, but... I was the... I feared for my life. But you still went to court because you hit a teacher. I went to court for the girl, too. It was a lot. It was a lot. So I never understood why teachers would run into a fight and touch anybody immediately. That's like going to a boiling pot of hot water and open it like this. That shit burn you. Yeah. Uh, I had what? That skit burn your face. Yeah. It's like doing that, man. But yeah, so they get to school and there's a big fight going on and we figure who the fight was. It was Davina, AKA if y'all watched that Green Leaf 
reviews that we know that she was Dora, the Zora. Weed, Zora, the, the weed, weed explorer, weed. and the reason why she was called that because she smoked a whole lot of weed on Greenland. And it always came from her backpack. Right. Uh, Zora, the <laughs> a weed, weed explorer. explorer. So she is fighting this girl named Tiffany because obviously, I guess before Buck 20 got killed, I guess Tiffany must have slept, slept with him. And bringing it and putting it in her face, but she was putting the freaking oak yolk on oh, her. Oh, she book. was putting it on. Man, her. she gave her two pieces, five Biscuits. pieces, eight pieces, with the macaroni and cheese on the side, the greens, the and, and the pollinator sauce. Yeah, she got her a whoop. Yes, she did. <laughs> but remember, Kanan loved this girl. So after the fight, they end up in well, she ended up in the principal's office and. He mows his way on in there to talk to her. And so this is when we found out, because I'm talking like we already knew that, that Buck 2 was her boyfriend. But we, now we yeah. find out that Buck 20 or Buck 2, whatever, was her boyfriend. And she was like... Yeah, the I, dots were connected. Because we knew, but it was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but my wife was like, when she saw it, she was like, did he do that on purpose? Because... He liked her, but I was like, I don't think so. I just think he was just in a moment of just wanting to kill the, <clears throat> to get take care of the guys that was on his mama's corner. Supposedly, I don't think that it he was knew just that. um, it was a bonus that yeah. he was the boyfriend of the girl he really wants to be with anyway. So that yeah. was, it was a bonus <clears throat> kill. Yeah. So come to find out that she got issues at home. Go figure. Mm -hmm. That it, uh, we didn't know it, but. Her mom came to the school, and we could see that she had that that itch, that itch, you know, that mm -hmm. going on. And so she was like, her mom coming to there, instantly going off. I got I'm, I'm a single, single, single mom, mom with two, or two, and yada yada yada. I don't have time for this. I, I don't know who this principal is, but I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna say if I know everybody on here, especially you black, you saw lean on me. Um, <laughs> freaking on um, principal Joe. What the name was Joe? It's been a minute. I yeah, don't Joe. Yeah, the principal on what's it called? That's what she remind me of. That's come out there loud, but everybody respects her. I said, who? Mm. Yeah, get in the office. Get yeah. in the office. Like, okay. I'm like, and the okay. mama was like, mm. okay, okay. I said, oh, she got you. <laughs> she got you. Got your number. But it's it. It goes kind of back like. What I thought about is like in school and a lot of us was in fights and in different things and just never consider that Something stuff is bad at home. So it was like, okay, yeah, she had school fighting, but she was like, um, my All sister, yeah, came out. I, I had to stay because she said I had to stay home to watch my, was a, my her sister, sister, her little sister because my mom couldn't, my mom couldn't. No, your mama was on a bender. Right. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, so 50 was like, really, I'm saying 50, Kanan <laughs> was kind of seeing her dynamic that, you know, she got some BS going at home too. So I, I don't know if you want to add anything else to, uh, no. to but that. But I will say this before we even get any further. They did a really good matchup. Yeah, he when he, it came to, because cause when you call him a really 50, good job. Yeah. I already was like, yeah, because he looks and the mannerisms, yeah. and he even speaks Just like, like 50. 50. Yeah, he do. I was like, they couldn't have done more perfect. They, yep. That was good. Yeah. So I don't I don't know where this relationship with, with uh, Davina and Kanan is going to go, so I guess we're going to stand by and see what this is, but we know that she is mad love. Actually, at school, when uh, when they was leaving, and one of his boys was like, I want, I want to get with her. I thought that was going to be a fight. Me but, too. But he was stone-faced about it. Yeah, so what? They was like, her boyfriend just died. He was like, but she's single though. Yeah. <laughs> Some dudes, man. So, now, we're coming back full circle. So, last week, uh, Rock kept on meeting with this dude that was the leader of the crew. But we didn't know what his name was. But this week, we were listening, and we found his name is Neek. I like Neek. He's smooth. He's smooth. He's cool. It's like I want, I want to, yeah, I want to make make that bread, but I don't want no drama, and I don't want nobody unless right. we have to have body. Exactly. So you make your bread, I'll make my bread. We all good. Right. So I don't know like how far they go back. So maybe they'll give us some backstory of how Rock and Nika so close. But he was like, "This is what I did. I called off one. all my guys, but Buck Two's folks, twenty Buck Twenty's folks." They want revenge. They want a body. 
<laughs> so when the streets want to buy it. Yeah. And he was like, I don't have a right <laughs> to stop anybody from wanting to seek revenge on something that happened with their family to touch this buck getting killed. And I said true. Uh, true, yeah. So true. he can't he can't I can't stand in the way of that. So it's like I I like their dynamic, but it's it's almost like when we go back to power, Ghost them really wasn't that close to anybody I, any of the other people now that I remember at, at the like they doing. Now right. Ghost them would meet with them. Like Le but it was Milan and yeah, all, all those people, but it wasn't like that. But it was like, okay, but if you killed somebody that was theirs, it, it was, was no the reason. Then. So That's I'm like, that. Buck was his. And I'm like, he re I'm like, so did, did, did Neek used to work with her husband and maybe he got respect for him? Or I don't know. We, I, I don't know what y'all Yeah, think. I can't wait to hear about uh, yeah, this. Yeah, I, I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm liking their dynamic, though. Yeah. Yeah. So I like the frenemy. So we know that Rock. Got this new boyfriend, but we didn't last week. We didn't catch his name, but his name is, I did, but I didn't remember. His name is Symphony. <laughs> Perfect name for him. So Marvin, the other brother, decides to roll up on him at the club and saying, "I heard you was, you know, basically Dicking giving it down. to my sister. Yeah, getting down with my sister. And and if you mess with her wrong, I'm gonna f you up." I like, he was like, "I highly doubt that. I highly doubt you ain't doing that to me." I said, "Good answer." Yeah. But basically, he was there looking for Tony, the white girl from last week that her dog got fried in the microwave. <laughs> but I didn't recognize. I'm still trying to figure out is they in a relationship? They have to be in a relationship. Or is he just the person that needs to F her to keep the business going? Probably that part, too. Because they did say sometimes you got to you got to do what needs to be done to keep things the way it's supposed to be ran. Right. So she get so he get back there with Tony, and I guess I guess she resampling the product because last week she was like saying they stuff with trash, and then she was getting another supply in. Is the club. her name Tony or was he looking for somebody named Tony? But she's back there. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. Ah, uh, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong because I'm still learning them names. But yeah, because yeah. Yeah. So we were just changing to the white girl. <laughs> <laughs> so she was like, I believe. That she said, no, first she said, your sister Rock is a B. And I believe that she was the one who fried, who my, fried dog. my dog. He was like, no, my sister love animals. Matter of fact, my sister, matter of fact, my sister is doing good with you because she normally don't like white girls in principle. On principle. On principle. I said, wow, it sounds familiar. <laughs> I said, wow. So, so while we, while we on them, um, y'all was saying last week, some of y'all in the comments were saying, did y'all recognize that that was truth? I didn't see I it didn't, last week, but, it but I did see it this week, especially when they were outside, they opened letting, the opening the doors and letting people in. I was like, this is showing up with truth. I was like, oh. So but I wanted them to raise the camera up because I was like, I want to see all of that. All the whole thing. So I can make sure that that's it. But it showed up from the outside. It looked like truth. Looked like truth, but, uh, I didn't want, the reason why I found that solidified for me that they were in a relationship because... Uh, so right. broke out at that fight broke out at truth and she was like ain't nobody ever stood up for me She was like he was like I gotta stand up for my girl. I said, okay. He said that's my girl. So I thought he was going to get shot by the police real <clears throat> talk, right? So Last week we didn't bring up Mike Epps, but I'm glad I said Mike Epps. I can't say who? Omar Epps <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would have been hilarious if Mike Epps was the cop. So Omar Epps is I guess he's a detective on this case and so he was talking to his part, took talking to his partner, the girl. I can't remember her name. I'll get She's her. annoying. But they were talking, and so basically, he was like, the cap. So she was like, the captain want us to take care of this, get the person arrested that killed Buck Twenty. She, he was like, he don't care correct. About he don't that. give nothing to care about Buck Twenty. Only thing he care about is not having no more young bodies in the street. That's all he care mm -hmm. about. That's bad, but it's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's what makes them look bad. Uh, so later on in the episode, we saw that he rolled up into this this <laughs> ghetto sewing shop where you know it had, said, it had some ninjas in there sewing. I said, but oh, okay. but he was in the back getting a his yeah. coat tailored. Oh yeah. So when when Omar S walked up in there, he was like, "Y'all must not know who I am, <laughs> or y'all forgot who y'all are." <laughs> and Nick was like, "He good." Yeah. Right. So that's when 
he started talking about the buck too. So he had ended up, he was, uh, Omar Epps was like, you know what? How can we get away from your, from your men's choir? I swear, they <laughs> yeah, was all that was all that, it was like, like, what the hell? Get up off my neck. <laughs> so they went outside and he was talking about the buck too. He was like, that's one of your guys. And he was like, well, I know him. Right. He good. And uh, he was like, you know that there can only be one king in the castle. And you know how DEFCON, because at the time we didn't know who DEFCON was. So you know how DEFCON was. It was one king, one code, and no bodies. And so right now it's you and Rock, and it can be two. And I was like, so what you doing? So he, then he said, but I'm betting on you. So I'm like, so like what are said, you saying? No bodies. But no bodies. So how, how, yeah. What, what, what are what, you doing here? Yeah, so how we, the only way you can get rid of people is, is that you got to take some bodies. Yeah, you got to take her out. Yeah, so, but he did say kids. So I don't know, maybe if he, maybe <laughs> taking out rock, she not a kid. So I don't know. I, but we trying to figure out if Omar is a dirty cop. Or he just trying to... Make sure that he is doing his job, but it not being difficult where he got to deal with a bunch of dead black folks. He looks good on paper. Yeah. I think that's what it is, is that you make sure that everything still looks good on paper. Yeah, because you're the black cop in the street, so I need Hello. you to keep the street straight. And like he said, pretty much, you do what you need to do and don't keep no bodies. I make sure <clears throat> that you protect it and become king. Bye. What? <laughs> <laughs> So we all stick around to see what old Mr. Omar is all about and see if he really in the game. I don't know if he's in the game, but he's definitely, he, he got some skit with him. We'll see. We'll see. So, uh, D-Rock. So D-Rock was supposed to be coming to Kanan's house to watch New Jack City. <laughs> on VHS. On VHS. Do y'all remember that? <laughs> yes, that was my movie. I don't remember everything that happened because it's been years ago, but I remember New Jack, Jack, New Jack City was my Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the skit. Yeah. So, while he was on his way to Canaan House, because you remember early in the episode, Marvin wants to have a party. And I'm like... Right now? You want to have a party right now? Um, your Even Rock was like, really? Your brother just killed somebody in the streets and they're looking for him, but you want to have... Yeah, but... Not brother. Um, um nephew. nephew. Yeah. You want to have a party. So, but we saw they end up still having the party. But Lulu, which I learned this week, we learned the names. Lulu, while D-Rock was on his way to Kanan's house, stopped by, stopped in the car and was like, hey, D-Rock. Get in. Get in. We're gonna, I'm going to take you to the party. Um, um, And it's going to be a party of your life. You're going to have a time of your life. He, he was like, like, but I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be going. Oh, he's going to be over here too. Yeah, he's he going to be, yeah. I'm supposed to go to watch New Jack City with Kanan, but... No, he like Kane gonna be at the party, so they had, so he took him to the party. But Jukebox saw him get in the car. I said that's gonna come. That's back. gonna come back. But uh, so they get to the party, and he at the bar, Lulu at the bar talking to this girl, and then he was I like, I thought it was DMX's ex wife. Yeah, first. <laughs> I, said, I said, why didn't you do this part? But it won't hurt. But I swear she looked just like her until I looked straight on at the nose. I said, no, nah, that's not her nose. Well, basically, y'all saw, he paid her to get him some puss. And he got it. He came out there. I um, mean, I guess the puss was so good, he would come out there, yeah, man, you know. Like, like, like the puss made him high. But. It does that. Yeah, it can, it can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Change your whole life. life. I don't, I don't know anything about puss changing my life. So, <laughs> so you can stop looking at me. But anyway, move the trade up. <laughs> so I was like, so the whole time we was like, is Lulu setting him up? Because we go back in the episode, I can't remember exactly what they were saying, but I can remember when uh, when, <clears throat> when Kanan was at school, he was talking about D-Rock going around running his mouth. I guess letting people know what, what they did. Yeah. So I said, I wonder how that was going to ride, but Rock and Lulu were talking and it was saying we, we need to do a such and such a on, Reggie or Ray a Reggie a, a Reggie Wright or Reggie Simpson. <laughs> Not or Reggie Wright. Or whatever. <laughs> we gotta do some kind of Reggie on <laughs> Reggie. It was something. Yeah. We and I was it. like, what's that call for? And even the other brother said, What y'all talking what about? What y'all talking about? And she was like, business. And they went out and I said, Oh, what they about to do? 
So, and then I said, no, y'all, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. So, so after he got some and they got in the car, and I guess they had to take a leak, and they was out taking a leak, and we saw he pulled the gun out. And you could tell it was a struggle for him. Yeah. And he ended up shooting the boy between, in the forehead, man. And I'm like, dang. I said, it's, it's, it's effed up. But yeah, that's that's what comes with the game because they couldn't afford for him to keep talking because I was gonna put all of them at risk. So I was like, dang. Yeah. So I'm like, how fifty gonna respond now? Who? No, not fifty. <laughs> how Kanan is gonna respond? Yeah, because he'd already called the the guy's mama was like, yeah, where is he at? Where is he at? Yeah, and come to find out, I was like, oh, he been gone, but he ain't made it to me though. Yeah. So what's going on? So when he turned up missing and dead <clears> tomorrow. <throat> How is that going to... Jukebox going to already know no. what yeah. the hell happened. Juke is going to tell Kanan what happened. Yep. And then they gonna, he going to be able to know that, okay, so now what I did, though, pretty much got one of my closest friends killed because we had to hush him up. Right. So so basically, the rule of the game, I need to and think it say? through before I make a move. So what they say, everything starts with you and it, it ends. Comes yeah, back wrong back. Yeah, to you. <laughs> I said, "Wow, well, y'all see the jukebox but her and the white girl getting real close." Y'all. Yeah, they getting they getting real close, and and Rock and Symphony getting real close. Cause we see we see that he got some you draws. Know, she was trying to give him some draws. He was like, "We need to take this slope." She was like, oh, I'm, gonna, slow. "I'm gonna take this dress off fast, and you gonna put it in fast, and we are gonna get this thing on." And then we saw that happen. So I said, "You in Symphony now? You in?" Yeah, yeah. So I mean, this was that was this week's episode. It man. was decent. Yeah, it was decent. We get we, the story still been building on top of each other. So I just can't wait till we get to the point where Kanan is actually in the streets and really. I'm gonna tell you, me and Stella was sitting there talking, the right? And I was like, "Am I the only one that my heart starts beating really fast when they're out in the open and they're always like in the most exposed areas? Like y'all are so hot." But y'all are in diners where it's just all glass. You make it easy for the drive-by to come through and shit. Y'all always <laughs> at y'all house in front of the window with your back to the window <laughs> like this. I'm like, maybe I've been watching too many of these gangster movies. I'm like, you need to get 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 in the drywall. Like, position yourself right here in the stud. Because this right here. But you do know the bullets still can come through the house through the stud. But at least don't, they, you they can't, can't see me. me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying like y'all need to get another restaurant to go to because that that glass box right there, that Manhattan box, y'all not gonna mm -mm, yeah get out there. But yeah, but yeah, y'all. So we gonna continue this conversation down in the comments. Y'all let us know what you think about this week's episode. Yeah. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty sound. Suta, suta. Holla, boo.